freezing. Well, it definitely is winter in Alaska at this point. It is very brisk this morning and Eric and I decided to come down to this large river by our house and watch the process of it freezing up. We moved here a few years back and we actually caught this just by chance. We came down here when it was happening and we thought it was the neatest thing. There's these big chunks of ice that are slushing down the river and what eventually happens is it slows down and they just back up and pile up and eventually you'll get this thick layer of ice all across the whole river. It's super neat. I don't even know how to explain it. Where we're from, rivers didn't freeze like this, so we think it's really cool. And we always try to catch it every year. And the timing is different based upon the weather. Last year, it was about a week and a half earlier. And the year before that, it was really late. I think it was in December so. This year, there was actually ice about a week back. And then we had a warm up period. And now it is getting cold again. And I think it's definitely gonna freeze up this time. It is so cold out here. This is the coldest it has been this winter season. I think it was either four or five degrees and it's probably about eight degrees right now and i definitely think i need to start dressing warmer i'm shivering out here it's cold but this has pretty much become a tradition for us being that this is the fourth time we've caught this river freezing up this is our fourth winter here this is actually the same river that we use to get to our cabin in the summertime we take the boat on it and in the winter time which is coming here pretty soon we will be on our snow machines on this exact river here let's touch Look at those little chunks. <laughs> well, we are gonna head home because we have quite a bit to do at the cabin and there's a snowstorm coming in. It looks like it's coming in a little bit early too, so got a lot of work to do.
We're getting the woodshed topped off. It's gonna be a cold, long winter, because it is Alaska. And every year we've been here, it's been cold and long. So we're gonna top this thing off. Pretty much everything we're cutting out here is just leftover wood from all of our projects we've had. We've been cutting up some of this slab wood. These are the little pieces you just cut off the um, logs on the sawmill that you can do whatever you want to do with. We burn them. They're actually kind of a pain. You'd think they'd be really good firewood, but they just pretty much burn extremely fast and they're hard to cut. But we got a lot of these. And we got a lot of big rounds. Definitely gonna have enough wood to fill this whole entire thing up. The good news is one of our friends lent us their awesome log splitter for the day. So we should make pretty short work of all this wood. extra woodshed for like a camp, like, you know, wood Killing. you burn, wood you burn outside. No, you know, like a fire.
stroking again. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. It's stopping snowing now. Okay, finished up with the wood splitter. We're stacking all of our wood. This is, everything we just split and everything we cut is all white spruce. It's all beetle kill. So it's already dry. So we can just burn it. We don't have to season any of this firewood. Works pretty good for firewood. It burns fast, but the trees are dead around here. So we like to take them down and use them for projects and use them for wood. We do have a little bit of birch in here that's seasoning that we cut down earlier in the season. It's nice to have a little bit of hardwood, but we're gonna get this all stacked up. Well, the plan was to get our wood done before the snowstorm, but that clearly didn't happen. But we got it done anyways, and we refilled the woodshed, which is awesome. This woodshed has been such such a nice thing to have. I don't even know how to put it into words really. When we first moved here, we didn't have anything. We just kind of put like a tarp over wood. I'm not even sure if we did that. The next winter, I think we did put a tarp over our wood and then we built this last year. And it's been so nice to have. I think we have, it probably fits about seven cords if you fill up another row, you know, on each side. We don't have it quite that full now. And in a year, we probably burned five cords. We weren't burning that much when we first moved here, but the winters are pretty intense now and we do burn quite a bit of wood. Thankfully, we got this done just in time because the sun's gonna go down and our day's already over. So we're gonna head inside. Okay, a little before 8 a.m. and it is five degrees Fahrenheit. It has been getting so cold. We slept in a little bit because we worked so hard on that wood yesterday. But the chickens are waking up. We've got their lights out here for them. We're gonna head back inside. Single file? Hey, you know what I realized? We gotta make a. Yeah, hey, I like how you look into this. We gotta. We gotta make a trail out here. This is it right here? Snowblower out here. It's probably right here. How much do you think it is? 
Six to eight inches, I'd say. Oh, should we leave it on top? No, I don't want to leave it on top. It might melt. Here. Oh my gosh, I can hear them. Yeah, they don't like being. No, they're mad, you can tell. I think I can already hear them. <laughs> Oh yeah, they're alive. They're not happy at all. <laughs> it's apparent that winter is definitely here and it's probably midday. The sun is at the highest that it's going to be. It's just gonna go right along the tree line and then it'll go down <laughs> and the day will be over. It's real fluffy, seven inches. Eight, seven or eight inches. <laughs> it's just real dry. Oh, it's so dry. Yeah, it's, it's like polishing the truck. Like no moisture. No, it's sliding right off. I know. You got your knife on you? Well, it's finally the day. The Polaris is done just going out on excursions during the summer, but it's not done working because we're going to put the plow on it and use it to plow. Put it up on high and just see how I did it. You could, yeah. So this one's got to go through that hole. Through there. That hole? Yeah. Oh, you didn't modify this before? No, down lower. Down lower. The down, no, right here. This goes down lower. Right there. Oh, I see what you're saying. And you're going to have to hold it a little bit on. Well, you take these. But yours is mine.
there's a little 2 by 4 Okay. We're having a little burn. We're gonna to try to get rid of some of the stuff that was over near our wood pile where we were cutting wood. That way we don't hit it with the snow blower, break the little pins on it. So we're having a little campfire out here. We made some lunch. This is like salmon tacos, but they're cold. So they're almost like a salmon wrap. We're gonna eat, these look good. Look at them. It's like a gyro almost. Gyro? I always forget what it is. Oh, they're festive. Oh my gosh. Fried salmon, beets. Beautiful. Mmm. I was hungry. I was hungry. Good. Has ever happened to you when you're really hungry, like when you're working hard? Ooh, that's good. And you just get like fatigued. No. Oh. The opposite happens. When I eat carbs, I get like brain fog. Oh. Like I, I need to go to sleep or something. <laughs> It is not going to get above freezing until spring. It's a good thing about having our freezer outside here in Alaska during the winter is now we can just unplug the freezer and it stays frozen for us. We're going to see if we can fire up the snow blower. I had to run in this summer just to make sure she was running good so it shouldn't be an issue. And one thing I've learned living up here in the winter time for small engines such as generators, snow blowers, uh, even the player sometimes, is I always switch to premium gas in the winter time and I treat it with heat or I use the sea foam sometimes and it makes a huge difference. So this gas can right here has a little bit of the heat in it and it's premium. Let's see what she does. Oh no, I blew a gasket. Good thing this thing has electric start. We had to do that last year with this too. For some reason, the first time we go to start it up, I gotta sit sit there with the generator running, plugged into this, and I gotta let the starter crank for like a minute straight, and it fires up, and then we never have to use the electric start all season long. So, I don't know, it's working. We're gonna start her up. We gotta pull our extension cord out of the way that ran our freezer. We're just gonna do a little bit of snow blowing. This is a really fluffy snow. So we're kind of still hitting the ground. You can kind of still scrape up the gravel. So we're gonna see if we can do a little bit of snow blowing.
Hold on a second. Did you put any other ones? No. What did you do with that big one I found that you ran over? I burned it. Wasn't that funny? I know. Fit. Shake. Good boy. Nice to meet you. We're getting hungry again, but dinner's gonna take a while to cook, so we're gonna get it started real quick and get it in the oven. We got a moose roast here. We're gonna make, I'm gonna call it tortas. It's not exactly gonna be a Mexican sandwich, but it's gonna be close. I got this awesome sauce that I made the other day, and I froze it. I made this out of ancho chilies, vinegar, onions, and garlic. Cooked them down and blended it. it smells so good. So we're gonna sear this piece of moose meat. This is a nice little roast with salt and pepper, and we're gonna add the sauce, one of our cans of salsa, some more onion and garlic, and then it's gonna go in the oven for a couple hours. First time on a frozen lake this season. It's still pretty cold. It's, it's mid-afternoon now. I just looked at the thermometer and it was about 12 degrees. Little coyote. Looks like it walked across the lake. One thing that's bad about the lake in the situation it is right now is it got really cold so the lake started to freeze and it was pretty thin ice but then it snowed. So that insulates the ice, makes it a little harder to freeze. So this definitely is not ready for snow machines or any sort of vehicle. Just kind of walking along the edge here because it's still pretty thin. Eric and I are weirdos and we really like when it snows because you can see all the tracks of the animals. And this, I think it was either an ermine or a marten or mink. I think we have all of them in this area. We've seen ermines before and minks. And there's just these cute little, like in between a squirrel and a cat paw print and they hop. So off into the woods he went this morning. Our meat's almost done inside the oven and it's dinner time for everyone. And it's okay. So the dogs are getting sockeye salmon and the chickens are gonna get a little treat tonight too. This is a hooligan that we caught with our little nets in the spring. We thawed that out, we're gonna give them some extra protein.
fish? Oh yeah, they like this. There you go, girls. head inside but first I'm grabbing some chicken feed to soak. Been a hard couple days of work. This sandwich is the perfect way to end the night. <laughs>